This video is designed to help Year 12 accounting students understand how to record inventory loss or gain using the identified cost method for cost prices of inventory items. So a quick recap. Inventory loss or gain is important to know about. The way in which we discover if we have an inventory loss or gain is by performing an inventory count or it might be called a stock take by some people. This is where we actually physically count the amount of inventory we have on hand in our business. We know that there's an inventory loss or gain by comparing this count to our records and where there is a difference between the count and the inventory cards or records it's either going to be an inventory loss or an inventory gain. So you can see here under our definition of inventory loss that it's a form of expense and it's where the inventory count is less than the balance in the inventory card. So in other words, we have less inventory on hand than what our records show. An inventory gain on the other hand is a revenue and that's where our inventory count shows that we have more than the balance shown in the inventory card. Why might you have inventory loss or gain? There's lots of different reasons. These are some of the most common. Most commonly it's due to things like damage or breakage or the stock may have been stolen by maybe a customer or maybe even an employee. We can also have oversupply and undersupply. So for example, you might end up with an inventory loss if you have accidentally given the customer too many items, so you've oversupplied them. You could also have undersupply, so you might not have actually received the amount of inventory that you thought you did from your supplier. And you can see here that we've got some reasons for inventory gain. And you can see that they go the opposite way to the ones for inventory loss. We have oversupply from a supplier, so our suppliers have given us more than what um, they should have or we have given a less to our customers. So how do we record an inventory loss using the identified cost method? We've got an example here for black v-neck t-shirts. So on May 31st, the inventory card for these Bonds black v-neck t-shirts showed that we had on hand the following items. We had 52 of them. 40 had a cost price of six, and 12 of them had a cost price of 7 and we can see that down in our balance in the inventory card. The inventory count at the end of the month, so on May 31st, the inventory count showed that we had 37 of the $6 t-shirts and 10 of the $7 t-shirts and memo 81 tells us this. So what we're going to record is the date and the source document and we need to work out how many items our balance in our record show versus the count. So our balance shows 40 of the $6 items, but at the end of the month there was only 37. So we're going to have to take three of these away from our records to get them accurate. At the end of the month we said we had 12 of the $7 t-shirts, but in fact we only have 10. So we're going to have to take two of those away out of our records. So the way in which we do this is we show it in the out column because we need to reduce the amount of inventory in our records. So I'm going to take three of the $6 stock, so $18, and I'm going to take two of the $7 inventory which equals 14. So my new balances, I'll have 37 of the $6 inventory and I will have 10 of the $7 inventory. So I then need to put my balances in there. So if I just grab my calculator really quickly, I know that 10 times 7 is going to be 70 and then I just do 37 times 6 is 222 and that's how I record my inventory loss. I'm now going to take that information and put it over into my general journal. So on May 31 I've now got an expense going up and I'm going to call that expense inventory 
and inventory loss and that is going to be the total amount here. So the total amount of my inventory loss, 18 plus 14 is 32. So I'm increasing that expense. The second account that will be affected is inventory because I need to reduce that amount in my general ledger. So I'm going to reduce that by $32. In my narration, I will need to indicate what this transaction is for. So this is an inventory loss of, and I'm going to put the quantity, and I'm going to put which item of two, black, v-neck, t-shirts, and if I have a reason, you know, they were faulty or I knew, I could add that, but because I don't, I'm just going to add my memo at the end. And that's going to be how I record it in the general journal. What effect is this going to have? Well, we know inventory loss is an expense and inventory is an asset. So straight away we can see that there is no effect on liabilities. Our inventory is being credited, so that's going to cause a decrease Okay, and that's because inventory is going down, and that's going down by $32. Therefore, we know that there has to be a change to even this out, and that's because our owner's equity is decreasing, and that's because when expenses increase, net profit is going to be decreasing. So overall, we've got a decrease in assets and a decrease in owner's equity for inventory loss. So let's look at an inventory gain this time. So now we have white crew neck t-shirts. So we started with 35 costing $6 and 40 costing $7. The inventory count revealed we had 38 of the $6 t-shirts and 41 of the 7. So if we have a look at our numbers here, I'm going to need to add three of those $6 t-shirts and I'm going to need to add one of the $7. So same process, May 31, memo, and this time it's memo 82. Because it's a gain, it needs to go into my records. I need to add three of the $6 units, so that's 18, and I need to add one of the $7 units, which is seven in total. So I then need to add my balance together. So I'm now going to have 38 of the $6 t-shirts. So that is 228. And I now have 41 of the $7 t-shirts, which is 287. Over in the general journal, May 31. This time my inventory is increasing. So that's going to be debited. And it's going to be debited by the total of that gain. So it's increasing by a total of $25. I now also have that revenue account, inventory gain, and that revenue is going to be increasing by 25. And my narration will say, something along the lines of inventory count revealed gain of four uh, white crew t-shirts something like that and don't forget to put your memo I've kind of squeezed it in there Oops, sorry memo 82 Over in our effect on the accounting equation, inventory we've got as an asset, inventory gain, a revenue. So once again, we can see that there is no effect on liabilities. We have an increase in assets because inventory is increasing by $25. And we've got an increase 
in owner's equity. And that's because when revenue increases, net profit increases. And that's going to increase by $25 as well. So remember that the method we've shown here is the identified cost method. We will be going through the first in, first out or FIFO method um, afterwards. So you can watch another video to have a look at how you record using that, including inventory loss and inventory gain.